Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be discussing an issue that a lot of people have. In fact, I get this call quite frequently um, and that's that people want to clean their computer up or they want to know how to free up storage space on their computer, right? And there's so many misconceptions behind this. So I want to talk about one of the big ones out there. Okay, so first we'll talk about the uh, misconceptions amongst cleaning your computer and the storage on your computer. Then I'll give you some basics, right? We have to crawl and then walk and then run. So I'll give you some basics on removing well, identifying how much space is being used on your computer, where that space is being used, and then how to clean it up, right? So we're gonna go over those things today. Now, the first thing that I wanna talk about is this misconception that everyone has towards storage on their computer. A lot of people seem to think that uh, emails are stored on your computer, and that's what's slowing down the uh, performance of your computer. Now, that's not exactly true, especially if you use web mail, like you go to gmail.com or yahoo.com to check your mail. That's all stored in the cloud, okay? When you go to the website, it could slow down your computer because you have to bring all those changes into your browser. That data going back and forth, those bits going between you and your email server could technically slow down your computer if you have a lot of emails in there that your system has to show you, but it's not going to slow down your computer the way you think it is. And also that storage is not local. Again, those emails are stored at the uh, at the server location, wherever the email server is located, they usually have that data stored on computers in big data centers, right? Those big uh, warehouses where they have those super cooled computers that host all of our data out there amongst the, the world. So the, uh, that's a huge misconception. A lot of people think that email is what's eating up the storage on their computer or the uh, the space or slowing their computer down. And that's that's not the case. No, rather today we're talking about the data that's actually on your computer that could be uh, taking up space such as documents, um, uh, documents, pictures, videos, music, your downloads folder, which is where a lot of people's stuff winds up being, uh, things like that, right? So, or program files, app data, things like that. So let's talk about a basic way just to check out how much space you're actually using on your system. So let's check that out. So this is File Explorer, right? Everybody's probably pretty familiar with the File Explorer. And there's a really good spot in here called this PC. Okay, so right here, this is the this PC section section, and it shows the uh, like a rough estimate of how much space you're using. You can look at the properties on this and get an actual byte count, a little more accurate, right? So huge number, right? And um, and then kind of gives you a break on on how much you've used and how much you had, right? And how much free space you still have. This is nice. This is a really really basic, easy way to view how much space you're actually using on the computer. However, all this shows is a rough estimate of the data that you're using, and it just shows you that you're using a bunch of data. It doesn't tell you at all where any of that data is actually stored. So for that, we go to another tool called Spacemonger. So this is Spacemonger. Um, and what you're going to do when you get here is you're going to hit open up the top left. It's a safe Windows tool. It's been being used for, for many, many years. It's an older tool, but it's still very effective today. So Spacemonger, it's great. What it does is it gives you a detailed breakdown of everything on your computer, like literally everything on your computer. I mean, look at this. This is this is a full consolidated breakdown of every single thing on my computer. I mean, right down to the larger folder. So for example, one of my big culprits here, program files. I have 208 gigabytes in there. And then it shows me underneath that, that a lot of that's in Steam, right? Well, we're not getting rid of those. Those are my games. But anyway, so Steam, and you look underneath there, and it's got a, it shows me like where the majority of my data is. There's a lot of gaming stuff on here. Um, there's a lot of stream stuff, um, you know, for the stream right here, 31.4 gigabytes just in stream stuff. So this gives me a really, really nice detailed breakdown on, you know, what's on my computer and what's being used. and how I can get some of this space back. So perfect example over here, grounded. I don't put grounded anymore, but it's eating up 10.8 gigabytes of my data. Or how about over here in, let's look in documents, desktop. Desktop's got 48.5 gigabytes in there. It's probably some stuff I can uh, get rid of in there, right? So this just tells you where your data is clumped up. Downloads, boom, 25.5 gigabytes. That's definitely an area I could go to and probably free up some space. So 
yep this is a really 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 nice breakdown of everything on your computer and where that um, space is being used okay so that's number one that's how you look at the breakdown of where everything is let's talk about the removal now we've actually talked about a lot of this in past videos so the first thing we need to talk about is before you go deleting anything and you go using these fancy tech tools that i'm giving you in these tech tips back your computer up right that's a habit you should already be in if you're going to do anything that i say in this video if you're going to go delete things if you're going to go mess with things back your system up first back up your whole computer if you're not sure how to do that or if you're not sure how to clean your computer you don't feel comfortable reach out to us at the number and one of our techs would be more than happy to help this is our jazz this is what we do all the time we clean computers that's like the big majority of our calls are our cleanups and that's what we do we love doing it we love doing it so much we do it to our computers then we do it to our clients computers and we do our clients computers just like we would do ours without affecting any of the data we don't remove any of your personal stuff we remove all the excess or the stuff that you don't want or if there's something that you want to remove but you're not sure how and you want some help we'll do that too so let's go over cleanup programs right because there's tons of them out there so this is another part i want to talk about you actually have a built-in here it is you have a built-in tool on your computer to clean out some space it's called the disk cleanup tool and what it does is it'll get rid of things like temporary internet files program files thumbnails recycling bin gets that cleared out those kind of things right old directx shader uh, cache delivery optimization files that you don't need anymore things like that this is built into the system i see so many people they get caught by these uh these advertisements right there's so many companies out there saying like we have the best cleanup app best cleanup app for window you need this cleanup app for window that's just not true okay that stuff is built into the into the uh into the system already just clean up you can do things like bb reg or atf cleaner if you want a cleaner that's just going to clean up real quick the problem with a lot of these cleanup programs out there is they they use your your computer's resources too heavily okay and they run in the background they slow your computer down so i wouldn't recommend investing in any of those cleanup programs that's not what we're here to promote today we love showing people that they can do everything with what's already on the system or legitimate windows tools that were built by either when by microsoft themselves or um or trusted third parties who were who were uh, commissioned to build these tools for the windows operating system and they've been tried and tested tested and used over the years um those those are the ones we want to point out so again that's like bb reg atf but even more importantly this cleanup which is already in your computer you can always use that now one of the other things um is cleaning up your apps and programs list here so and there's another video we have go check that out that talks about how to in depth how to add and remove programs but it's always really good to just review this list check it out look at that 1.38 gigabytes right there on that one i don't even use that anymore i'm gonna remove that for sure um so just reviewing programs games uh, going through the space monger tool seeing where all your data is a lot of people i'll look in there and i'll show them like hey look this is where all your data is and they're really surprised when they see it because they're like i didn't even realize i had all that on my computer or um I mean, it was like a folder they just uh -oh. like stuffed in, into into uh, one of their libraries library folders on their computer and just forgot about right uh, and then there's the downloads usually people um, don't realize that the downloads don't clear themselves right and they don't move themselves either so if you're down putting things into your download folder you need to make sure you organize it uh, that data into the place that it goes that way you can regularly clear your downloads folder out to get all the stuff you don't need uh, or that you quickly want cleaned up out so again let's recap Go into your file explorer see how much data you're actually using now if you don't want to get rid of anything you could always add a second drive like here i'll pull mine back up you can see i have two drives i have a one terabyte ssd and i have a 2.49 terabyte hard drive well, it's three terabytes but i i have part of it um, partitioned off for, for something else you can do an external drive and move data off if you don't want to get rid of things however we're talking about things that you can get rid of so through your apps your programs music documents the data that's actually on the computer and clean some of that out remember that email you want to keep that clean because you don't want to use up all the server space that the email provider is giving you but at the same time that's not local so that's not as important to clear out what we're talking about is the actual data on your computer so check that out open up your disk cleanup tool avoid those third-party uh, cleanup programs that boast that they're gonna speed up your performance and increase your computer uh, speed not usually true Usually what they wind up doing is just slowing down your computer and causing issues in the long run. So if anyone has any questions about this or you're concerned about cleaning up your own computer and you'd rather have an expert do it, 
please reach out to us at our number. It's down in the description. It's at the beginning and the end of the videos. And we would love to help. Like I said, this is our jazz. This is what we do. We love compl cleaning computers, which is a really might sound like a funny thing, but we, we really do. Every time I get on a, on somebody's computer and they tell me that they're having issues, storage issues, I love it. I love being able to get in there, clean somebody, help somebody clean their computer out and get it back to a usable, uh, you know, better performance, all that stuff. That, that That's what, like I said, that's what we do. That's our jazz. So please reach out to us and we'd be happy to help, um, help you, help you clean up your computer. But if you have some stuff on your computer, you can free up, review that apps and programs list, get rid of the junk you don't need. Just keep it clean. And if you need help, please reach out to us.